And there's a really good quality Smoky Mountain wild brown trout. See you, buddy. What's up, homies? What up? Uh, we got a view today. So me and Banner decided to come up here to the Smoky Mountains and head towards Tennessee. We're actually on the Tennessee side of the park right now. We're gonna fish a stream over here that I haven't fished in quite a while. Um, it's got Biggins. some really good wild brown trout in it. Usually average about six to 12 inches and I've caught some good 14 to 16, every now and then an 18 inch brown out of this river. Um, yes. Also loaded with a bunch of wild rainbows. It's a fun place to fish, but what a better place to film an intro. Yeah, for real. We came up and I forgot how cool it looked up here. It's uh, it's nice. Um, a lot higher up in elevation. So it just like, it's, the, it's just different. Changes yeah. so much. You get a lot more cooler trees, a lot cooler scenery. Just different. And I haven't been up here in years, so it's going to be nice to get back to this river and see how they're, uh, how these fish are acting and see how we can probably produce a fish. Yum. And well, we're going to head down to the river. We got a about another 30 or 40 minute drive to get there and then we'll get back to you as soon as we're on the water. Let's go whack them. Bam! <laughs> what? All right, we made it to the river. There's the river. Ben's all excited. He's never fished this river before. And I, you know, I keep talking it up. It's got a good bit of wild browns in it. So me like the brown trot. Um, hopefully it'll fish good. I haven't been here in three or so years. Last time I fished here, I caught several really good wild browns and a bunch of rainbows. It's, uh, it's a pretty sweet place. It's uh, in the Smoky Mountain Park. It's on the Tennessee side though. So for those of you that don't know, you can fish Tennessee or North Carolina side of the park with either state's fishing license. So we have a North Carolina license. So being in the park boundaries, we can fish this with a North Carolina license because it's in the park boundary. Um, and so that allows us to be able to come over here and not have to buy that Tennessee license even know that we're in the state of Tennessee so that's nice to know um, for those of you that did it this river it's probably got the most water in it that I've ever fished it. I've only fished here like four or five times so this will be fun to fish it a little higher water and a different time of year the only other time I've ever fished this place has been in the dead middle of summer um, so it's nice and cool water temps a lot cooler than what I'm used to in this particular river should be fun I'm looking forward to it and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we start whacking some fishes all right, we just stepped in. I made a couple drifts. I got a wild rainbow. Ben's on his second fish already. We literally just stepped into the river. That's a pretty little wild fish. Yeah. Ate the red squirmy. Always a favorite among the wild trout. Yeah. There we go. Oh, he gone. Hooked up on the first brown trout of the day. He's sitting up there next to the bank. Oh, good one too. Nice one. Nice one. Yeah, buddy. All right, I'm going get, to get him in the net, and I'll get back with you. Just and there's a really good quality Smoky Mountain wild brown trout. See, buddy. He's sitting right up there on the bank next to that smaller rock right there. I hit the bank. It drifted like two inches, hammered it. Good fish. Jacob's got him. Yeah. Got 
I got a little rainbow. Jacob's videoing me. Look at him, yeah. Pretty guy. Let's get a release on him. Fish ain't too big. He's pretty. We'll get a bigger one though. Get out of here, bud. There's a little feller. Look at him. Wild rainbow. Oh. We got him. What we got there? The wild rainbow. Yep, another little wild rainbow. Check him out. Oh yeah, pretty little feller. Let him go. Come here. Oh yeah. That's a little wild brown trout. Nice. Another pretty little wild brown trout. Oh, there he goes. Ben's got him a little wild brown. Nice. There we go. Nice little rainbow. Hate to squirm me. All right, well y'all just saw me catch this little wild rainbow. I'm gonna get him out of the net. Send him on his way. Pretty little fish. He's sitting right over here in this pocket. For those of you that have never fished the Smoky Mountain Park before any of the rivers, uh, definitely recommend it. It's one of those fisheries that these fish are relatively untouched compared to the other places around like Cherokee, Gatlinburg, either side of the park, like the main towns. The fish in the park don't see as many people. And with that, they're a lot more skittish, but they're also pretty willing to eat. You just have to have good presentation to them. Um, these fish eat faster than lightning. They are some of the fastest eating fish on the planet. Uh, ben, I think Ben's got a good one. I'm going to go down and see what he's got into. He's fighting something, and uh, looks like he's got a good fish. Let's go see what he's got. Well, I think Ben uh, missed it, lost it, rather. He was uh, walking down the river with it, fighting it, and I turned around and he uh, it come off. So that sucks. We're currently hooked up. Little wild brown trout. Let's see if I can lift him out of the water. There he is. Yep, little wild brown. Another fish to take the squirmy. Doing pretty good today, actually. Uh, fishing's been good. The river's high, so it's definitely been a, a challenge to find good fishable water. But once you get your flies down, you're you're definitely hooking into some fish because so it's been a good. There's day. that little wild brown I just had on. Send him home. So, yeah, fly of the day has definitely been the uh, red squirmy. And then just a little tiny pheasant tail, a little size 20 up there. I'm also running the Hardy Ultralot today with the, um, the MTXS 3000. I broke my Thomas and Thomas the other day on uh, fighting a fish and the bead came back, and smacked it. So I'm running this rod. Well, you see what happened was, uh, I'm a dummy. I lost uh, like an 18 inch wild brown trout. I, uh, it was pretty cool. So up here on that next run up above me, we have been throwing like just little small squirmy worms. And I just switched, I was like, huh, this water's up a little bit, we just had a lot of rain. I think it rained up here last night, so the water's up a good bit. It's clear, but the water's up a good bit. And I was like, huh, I'm gonna switch to 3.5 Francois. Why not? Sometimes you can eat them in the summer, so those bigger bugs start popping off. Put it on there. Came back to the run that we fished previously with the squirmies. First drift through there, it was a, that big brown, and he come off. I went to swing him up to net him, and. It happens. Jacob's up there. Fishy, he's got a fish on. Get him! He got him. Hopefully he don't break that one off. I didn't break him off, he just popped off. I, th I think I was babying him a little bit too much. Which using Adex, sometimes you gotta baby him a little, a little bit more, but I think I was babying him a little bit too, too much, but something to learn on. Let's do it. Let's see if we can catch another one. Now I've got vengeance.
Let's get in. What do we got here? Nice wild rainbow, yeah. Good wild rainbow. And a sketchy spot. He's over here with all these trees and junk. Oh, Lord. Come here. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, buddy. Nice. Good looking fish. There he goes. I might have got a little bit of redemption. Next trip after I just got off the phone. Another wild brown trout. That's a good one too. Hey, let's get that one in the net. Let's get a close up of him. Oh yeah. Very nice. Very pretty fish. Ate the France fly. Cool beans. Next drift. See if we can get another one. Who's gonna catch a fish first? Ben? Or good old buddy Earl over here. Alright. Oh. 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 He ain't happy. Oh. What you doing? He's hiding. <laughs> Why are you hiding? <laughs> Don't disturb the wildlife, Ben. What's he doing? Pick a boot. No, it always sees a fish over there behind that rock. He's about to get it. He got him. He got him. Another wild rainbow, a little bit decent one. E oh, e out. Big old deep run. That gum. Little guy. What we got? A little wild brown trout? Yeah. Little wild brown. Hey, buddy. Oh, I missed him. There we go. Oh, he come off. A little wild rainbow. It's starting to rain. Let's see if there's another one in that pocket. Nope. Oh, I missed him. There we go. Oh, yeah. What we got? A little rainbow? Yeah. Got some rain coming in. A pretty nice wild rainbow. Decent. Jeez. He ain't happy. Look at him. Cool. <laughs> Dang. Let's get him in the net. Yeah, good fish. So me and Ben have been working our way up river. We haven't been videoing at each other fishing as much today. We've just been kind of, uh, just kind of wandering around really and just enjoying the, uh, the fish and enjoying the river. But as you can see right here, we have this cool little creek comes in, nice waterfall, little run right here. Get this little guy out the net I just caught out of this pool. Come here. Come here. He's been a little aggressive. There we go. Pretty little fish, little wild rainbow. There you go. He's just chilling right in that little soft bucket. Love it. One thing I love about fishing up here in the Smoky Mountains, I don't do it enough. But it's the scenery. Look at that. Really, really cool place if you've never been up here before. Medium. 
this, a brown. Yes. That's what we drove almost three hours for, is to catch more wild brown trout. Look at them. I love these fish up here. They're so aggressive, but God, they eat fast. Me and Ben, it took us a while to get used to it, but we're on them now. All right, everybody. So our last video, I believe we talked about- Last trout video. Last trout video, yeah. We talked about the uh, Diamondback Ideal Nymph. This is a 10 foot one weight. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna list some pros and cons about it. Now there definitely are some pros and there definitely are some pretty bad cons, but from fishing this rod for what, close to about a month, about three mm, weeks? Yeah. About three, three weeks or so and fishing it a good bit. The one thing that it really lacks on is sensitivity, in my opinion. I don't know if Jacob agrees with me. I would agree. It's uh, it's almost like the tip of it's so soft that by the time a fish eats it, it has to like pull down the tip of it. Now that could be because we fish this micro leader that stretches a lot. And so who knows, with a thicker leader, I have not tried it out, but I typically don't like to fish a thicker leader. It might be sensitive with a leader that doesn't stretch as much, but with the leader that we run, it lacks in sensitivity. And I have not been able to fish the other models of the Diamondback rods yet. Only thing that we've fished has been this 10 foot one weight. And I love it and I hate it at the same time. Not really hate. It's definitely a love hate relationship. Like, I like that's a good way to put it. Yeah. Like, I love how accurate it is. I love how soft the tip is for throwing light flies. But when it comes to like sensitivity and needing to know the difference between a rock and a fish or anything, you just can't tell the difference. Yeah. I mean, like fishing pocket water, breaking down pocket water, super accurate. It throws small like two O's and two fives, just single bugs. One of the best. I mean, better than any rod. I've yeah, fished for for doing that and accuracy wise, it's one of the best nymphing rods I've ever thrown. Yeah, but we kind of we kind of. The past few weeks, we've been kind of trying to, you know, fish two different rods and different rods to see, okay, this one's definitely a lot more sensitive, or we'll fish this one run with this rod and then go behind it, same person, same flies, and fish it with the other rod and just kind of sit, feel the differences mm -hmm. for sure. But, I mean, it's a great rod, great rod, but just in my opinion, seems to lack, lack on sensitivity. Everything else? Everything else about it's, it's awesome. It's phenomenal. Well, go in there and smack a fish, Ben. <laughs> ben put this gigantic squirmy worm on there to see if a big fish would eat it out of this hole. Hold up. Wait till you see the size of the squirmy. First off, look at the wad of squirmy material. For those of y'all that know Spirit River squirmy material. There's the fish. There's the Where fish. Where did the fish go? Goodbye, yeah. fishy. Oh no. <laughs> it's got two pieces of full squirmy worm material on there. Full Spirit River squirmy. Two sided for the four millimeter bead. There we go. Come on, get off there. You got to see the finished product. There. <laughs> this is what that fish just ate. Pull this nice wild rainbow. Look at him. Got a chub. Jacob's got a chub. Eat him. <laughs> well, we uh, we caught a good number of fish today. There's old Ben up there in front of me. We just got absolutely soaked. I don't know if you could tell. Like here, 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 here. Look, 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 look. look. It's like absolutely soaked. It Wet. started pouring down rain and we tried to fish and then my glasses fogged up and I couldn't see nothing. And for those of you that don't know, I wear prescription glasses. So it ain't like I could just take them off. <laughs> and I was trying to get across the river and I was like, nope, we ain't doing this. And I'm like, Ben, it's time to go. We're done. Screw this. <laughs> But we did good. We caught a good number of fish. I think I ended up getting like 70 something. And uh, 61. Yeah, Ben got 61. I think I got 71 or 72, something like that. 
it's pretty good the fly of the day it kind of bounced around between a squirmy and a soft tackle and a france fly and a little france fly a little well a, a bigger france fly <laughs> but kind of varied just your typical wild trout kind of stuff but yeah it was a good trip to come up here i'm glad we came but god this rain kind of screwed it up but it'd be all right we'll live well, now we're gonna start the he says he's gonna try on the ac the whole way home yeah ben was complaining earlier he was burning up and i was like well you want you want to burn up you're gonna get the ac on you're gonna freeze on the way home so okay. no wow. but maybe uh, well i gotta get i can't see so <laughs> we'll uh we'll see you next time good luck to you